Hey guys, Lewis here, and we are back with another episode of Darkest Dungeon. Unfortunately, Austin has been busy lately, so he will not be joining us. Instead, we have Mike joining us today. Welcome to the, the video. The Bounty Mike. Hunter is here! Yes, Mike the Bounty Hunter. Unfortunately, our entire team, Mike, is in the sanatorium with Jason. Yo, we all went crazy. So, there's been a new major update. Well, not major, but it's pretty big. Um, they've added corpses and hound masters, as well as diseases and other unique things. Basically, what you guys have been seeing is Darkest Dungeon when it's finally submitted to you. And you pretty much go to Darkest Dungeon and say, I own you, Darkest Dungeon. Technically, I do, because you're in my Steam library, but I own you. After <laughs> this, After this update, though... Darkest Dungeon has gone back to its screw you and your happiness. I'm doing what I'm doing, and I'm gonna make you die. <laughs> and, that sounds like so much more fun. Let's do it. Yeah, and so I have played a few rounds just to test out the new updates, so there's a lot lot to get through here. First off, the sanatorium. There is a new ward, the medical ward. We can now treat diseases, humors, and other physical mal maladies. Basically, but humor is good. Why would you? unless that's a different kind of humor? And I I'm think just it's not... a different kind of humors. But, but there's new later. upgrades, of course, for the medical devices to decrease the disease treatment cost. Right now, I'm being treated for a disease. Right now, I can't remember what. You it are was. the first patient. Congratulations! How do you feel about that? Actually, no. You were the first patient. It's just like I played three weeks to test out the new updates. So of right now, I'm being first. treated for tetanus. You were being treated for syphilis, Mike. So you had the worst one. Oh my god. Pretty much our just entire- Tell everyone my Saturday nights, why don't you? Yeah, our entire crew is just like completely screwed up in so many ways. I mean, look at you and your quirks here. Well, let's see. I am... You're a deck of mania, mania. Obsessed I'm... with killing. Why is that a bad thing? I like that. You're also enlightened, so you can only meditate for stress relief, which is okay. So I'm an enlightened killer. Yeah. You're afraid of the Warrens. Well... Can you blame me? You're af you you're afraid of the unholy. And you're afraid of beasts. <laughs> so they've also added this little symbol here which shows you what it replaced. Un unlike before, where it would just replace a random one and you wouldn't know what you've lost. The skulls okay. here represent that these quirks are more exacerbated than the other ones, so these will take more of effect on you. Another thing which has been suggested in the community for a while is the ability to lock positive quirks. For example, you can now send your uh, adventurers into the sanatorium to reinforce a certain quirk and lock it in so it doesn't change it. So for me, example, I like fighting in the ruins with my crusader because he has an unholy ba uh, bonus. So I decide, hey, let's give him plus 15% damage in the ruins, so I locked it in. Now the thing is, you can only lock three positive quirks, and once you lock them, you can't go back on that decision, so make your choices wisely. Hmm. So, things like this is like, uh, I am a ruins tactician, I like that because I want this crusader to be dealing against unholy types, and ruins are where the unholy types are mainly at. Do I have any locked in? Um, uh, not at the moment. I'm trying to, f I'm looking through the list to see which one fits the most. Eldritch Hater, I might go with because you get the damage versus Eldritch plus the stress resist, but I'm trying to remember what else. But as it is right now, you're being treated for something. I think you're being treated for either shock, uh, for, no, that's me. Uh, one of these, anyway. So our whole team is being treated for something or other. Okay, so the There's next... There's a lot wrong with this team. Yeah, there is. And that's mainly because I've been sending our team in over and over compared to everybody else because I didn't want to level people. We're going to be doing um, another boss run. But before Word. that, the new Houndmaster is now added to the game. So we're going to go ahead and release this randomly named Bounty Hunter here. You are no longer needed. Another soul battered and broken, cast aside like a spent torch. Indeed, he was cast aside like a spent torch ancestor. Anyway, so we're going to be hiring the Houndmaster and renaming him. Now, I don't honestly know what the Houndmaster is, um, specializes in, so we'll have to... Uh, unfortunately, I have to edit that bit out. 
Okay, my mouse is acting up. You st oh, there it goes again. Mike, you still there? I am still here. I am just watching your mouse do funny things. I know. Hold on. I'm fixing my mouse. Okay, there we go. So, like I said, I don't really That's know what... That's sensitivity. Yeah. I don't really know what the Houndmaster is. It has a doggy. Yeah, it does have a dog. He comes. He has eagle eye for range, but he's a bad gambler and he's a witness, which is okay. We can deal with that. So what I want to do is, honestly, oh God, I want to test perfectly. out all the skills he has and bring him out, even though we're going to go on a boss run and he starts at level zero. So the possibility of him dying is there. <laughs> but we're going to name him after Rich. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see what the colors are here. We got a yellow yeah. one. Yellow. Mm hmm. That was a good one. Uh, As Richard's representative, I get to make a choice for him. Okay. Which one do you think fits him the most? One for four. Um, the one with the blonde hair. That one. Yes. All right. So that's gonna there be you, go. Richard. So let's see. What's your skill? Hound rush from the back row. Of free slots. Not bad. Self mm -hmm. plus fifteen percent damage versus beast. Not bad. Hound Harry could be in anywhere, but hits all four targets. Does a lot of bleed damage, that's good. So DPS. Target Whistle. Is whistle! Let's so, just whistle at him. So is that like a mark skill? Maybe. It might be. Cry Havoc, Target, Stress Heal. And release the Hounds of War! That's actually pretty good. I like that. I like any skills that does Stress Heals. Uh, guard Dog, Guard and Ally, plus 15% dodge for himself. That's actually pretty good. The guard skills good. Lick your wounds. Self heal 5 HP. No, we're going to be bringing healers anyway, so that doesn't matter. Blackjack from the front free. But he's Ooh, a bad gambler. <laughs> yeah, he is a bad gambler, but he does stun. Let's see. Release the hounds. Self only improve scouting chance. Eh, that's okay. Man's best friend. Reduce stress by 20. That's pretty good. Yeah. Therapy dog. Reduce stress of one companion by 25. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Hounds mm -hmm. watch. Uh, I don't. I kind of like being surprised at camps though because it gives us an extra fight. So You're let's crazy go. Man. Well, you gotta milk each dungeon for what it's worth. So let's get all of his skills available. Oh, okay. Let's see. We'll unlock all of them. There we go. All right. We're gonna be testing them as we go, and we'll get his camping skills too. So we will go camping. We'll get. No, uh, we don't really need encourage since if we're gonna use that uh, therapy dog, which is better, just gives us one extra slot. Release the hound. Don't really need it. Yeah, but we should get him anyway, just to unlock him. Mm, well, I'm with the new update. Your gold takes a really heavy hit, so you got to be careful with your gold now. Oh, really? Yeah. Says the man in a hundred thousand gold. I thought that was a lot, and in previous runs, that is true. Not anymore. <laughs> we don't need pep talk, so we'll get rid of that. Hounds watch, don't need that. We'll, we'll take all the stress heals for his camping skills. What is that? That's a bug if I ever saw one. He does not have 185 mil. <laughs> anyway. Richard, you're rich and you don't tell us? All right. What's wrong with you? Uh, I've found a lot more trinkets since the last time, a couple of good stuff here. So we're going to be arming our current group. I'm kind of trying to figure out who to leave behind. Either we're leaving Emily or James behind. Decisions. Should I roll a dice to decide? Leave it up to fate. I don't know. Emily's got the range. We may need that. But Rich, got range pokes. But Rich as it is is pretty weak so we want to protect him so we might want to keep him in the back so we might leave Emily behind for this one so, so we get Richard geared up yeah so let's go ahead and unequip everybody actually reorder that there we go all right so gameplay we're gonna be sending you out we need a tank so we'll give you a tough ring and where is the new trinket ordering system is kind of annoying so I can't custom order myself so we'll take the sun ring, because that's good. We need more damage, so we'll give another sun ring. And another tough ring. There we go. It's James. Terra, we need a dedicated healer here. We also need you to not die, so let's give you something that ups your dodge. There you go. And Rich, 
Honestly, I'm not really sure what to do with you. I found a couple no of... No one uh, knows. No one knows what to do with them. Yeah. I have found a couple of um, Houndmaster trinkets in the free we in-game weeks I've tested out. Uh, if I can find it, where is it? There's a blue item, if I remember. Ah, there it is. Protective Collar. Plus 15% protection, plus 20 stress resist, minus 10 damage, and minus 4 dodge. It's I'll take the hit on those because we don't know what to expect with him and we kind of need him to stay alive since he's a low level. Um, okay. There was another one that we had. What was it? No, that's the Ancestor Scroll. Spiked Collar, plus 15% damage, plus 20 bleed, minus 30 heal received. What? Mm, not so we sure. got two of those. Yeah, I found a couple of Ancestor items. Uh, not the Ancestor, but rare items. Uh, didn't I have a, like a... It must have been a common item. Where was it? Should we organize by class? Yeah, yeah. No, we can organize by class. Ah! Let's see. Where are the Hound Collars? I think you just passed them. There yeah, it is. Yeah. Alright, so we have the Cudgel Weight plus 30 stun skill, which is good. Minus one speed. Or the Scouting Whistle. Minus 10 Trap Disarm, but only if Torch below 50. So that's kind of useless, actually. So we'll take the Cudgel. Alright. Alright, so these are your final stats as of now, Richard. And but since, I hope we find gear. Since we're going to rely on stun... Your best position is probably third place. Richard, how's it feel to be the bronze medal? Okay, so don't need the the heal. Stress heal was always nice. We'll start out with guard dog. We'll see how it does. All right. All right. Let's head out. We are going after the brigand eight pounder. All right. So is that McDonald's new burger? <laughs> I wish, because I'm actually pretty hungry. Alright, there we go. Didn't get I any... I got food before this one. This didn't time. get any party combo, so that's unfortunate. I've also noticed the thing with my Darkest Dungeon videos. Uh, Darkest Dungeon has a really bad tendency to... What the hell? Dog treats? Yes! Okay, that's new. I've never seen that. <laughs> that's good. I like that. Greatly increases yeah, hounds fingers for a short time. That must be a one-time buff if you bring a hound master with you. Clearly. Okay, but like I said, I've noticed a thing with loading screens and Darkest Dungeon. My recording software seems to hate Darkest Dungeon loading screens. So what happens is it accelerates my voice so I am completely incomprehensible while you can hear uh, the other person speak normally, which is weird. So what I'll do is I'll just usually cut that out. But in the case of like boss loading screens, which I kind of like because I want to hear the lore, um, I want you guys to hear it too. So what I'll do is in a future shorter episode, I will do a episode dedicated just to listening to those uh, quips from the uh, from the that ancestor. Awesome narrator. Yeah, the narrator, the ancestor. I love the narration in this game. All right, they also changed it. Uh, Holy water. You can use it to apply it as a buff to your hero, which will give him various resistances. And the same goes for the medical herb. So. They don't have to be used on curio objects solely. You can use them on your heroes, too. I'll take an extra set of shovels, just in case, because we are going into the wheel. Got plenty of food to last us for healing. Torches should be good. It's medium. I think we're all set to go. All right. All right, the most likely one to die on this expedition is Rich. And also the fact that I have no idea what this boss is like. Better just be like a... Simple folk that's about their nature like. loquacious, and the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before a rumor that my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. Okay, so we basically have a rebellion against the Ancestor while he was doing his experiments. Alright. Had a nice photo of the cannon. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not, sure. I'm not sure if my voice is being accelerated right now. 
But if it is, then I'll just do the thing I was going to say and I'll just cut this out. Let's hope it doesn't. Yeah. But we're going up against a brigand 8 pounder. And if I recall, the next one is the 10, then 12 pounder. All right. Like Angus. All right, here we go. Oh, look at the howdy. Yay. Uh, but unfortunately, Rich has started out with 20 plus stress. Wow. Just because he's a low level. All right, we have a relatively linear wheel, so that's good. Let's explore this way first. They also changed the rarity of the sun ring from green to blue. Is that oh. a mushroom? Yep. Mushroom zombies. And right off the bat, Rich is already blighted. Come on! Alright, so, than that. like I said, the game has gone back to its screw you and your happiness state. You know what's the worst enemy I've gone up against and hate? What? Maggots. They were the oh. easiest things to kill, and now they have like 80% protection, and you can't kill them without using your entire party focusing on one target. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's you. check out your cudgel here. Well struck. A critical. Nice. And a stun. Hi. Mercy is for the quartz. Very nice. Get him blue. That's the dog man. Yeah. All right. Bought some time, so let's see. Can we get at him? Yes, we can. Paper. No, we don't have paper. How do we not have paper? Because it's on the Crusader and not the Man at Arms. Oh. Alright, keep Red Shield. I like the Hound's uh, attack stance, that's really nice. Yes! Alright, Feral Slam attack. Also, you notice there are corpse piles when you kill an enemy now, so they don't automatically shuffle their position if you kill something. You have to kill the corpse too, or let it dissipate on its own. In case you want. Oh, that's for his own control. Devastating yeah. blow. So it's I love that. So, so far, it seems that the a Houndmaster is more focused on uh, status effects like bleed and stun. Alright. Let's use the dog to bite him. Yeah. Get in there. We're doing pretty good so far as it is. It's gonna be a longer episode overall. I'm sure no one would complain about that. Yeah. I mean, it's been a while since we did Darkest Dungeon anyway. Let's test out Thanks, this Austin. Hound's Rush. We'll go after the weak one. Oh, I like that. Yes. Go, doggy. Dog, I choose you. A powerful oh, yeah. blow. Just pass him with that shield. We hold as one and strike as one. That Very boost. inspiring Speech words. Right there. Very inspiring words, gameplay. You are a credit to your Good. eye patch. Who's his writer? Because that was uh, well spoken. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it was us because we're the voices in our heads. We are the voices in your head. Right. Oh, that gave me an idea. Uh, I'll tell it to you later. Okay. Let's just guard James for now. So as you can see, he's been forced back into the back row, and he has to move back uh, forward. He dodges by covering his face with his shield. I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it works. Whatever works, right? Just have Richard beat the shit out of him. I want to see the animation for the guard dog. Oh, you can fail a guard? I guess so. That is interesting. Now we know. Alright, let's go ahead and heal well, James. working that out for us, Rich. Rich, train your dog. Use your paper, James. We gone, fiend. The Imperial Inquisition. No one suspects the Imperial Glittering gold. Alright, so pretty much our models. runs are always focused on Paid money. We need blood. money. <laughs> the pack it's too real. Alright, let's see. Actually, let's check his stats. He's only 40% disarm. 40%. Yeah, pretty average in stats, Rich. Hopefully we'll get that sorted. We just gotta grind him up a bit. I like how he's like... Constantly has his hands on the dog. Doesn't maybe he's blind and it's a seeing eye dog. So maybe maybe it is a seeing. Everybody has like black eyes, so nobody has <laughs> eyes. <laughs> All right, nothing in that room. Yep. Dim light. We'll go ahead and drop a torch there. 
Rich, by Powell and you are disappointing me here. Get blinded <laughs> and hit by a trap that was. Wasn't How can he be blinded? He's already blind. That's why he's got the seeing eye dog. Uh, my veins are on fire, <laughs> and we must eat. All right, torch up before we get into the next room. Actually, I should swap out his skills. I want to see some of the other skills. So we know that's his attack one. We'll switch out guard dog for... Let's try target whistle. I'm just demonstrating there. Wait a minute, did I miss something? I missed something. You did kind of walk by... Uh, I wasn't paying attention. No, because we were busy talking shit about Richard and the trap. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Everybody walk now backwards. Must be carried home. Do the moonwalk. Everybody, you may you may direct your compliments to Rich. Forcing you all to walk backwards. Is anyone checking behind us? <laughs> You're the last one in the row. <laughs> yeah. Oh that's Tara. Your job. Oh Tara. You're so strange. Hey a torch. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Our torch supply is back to where it was. All right. Got a real ah oh, maggots. Okay, oh, they lo God. they lowered the protection down to sixty. That's some progress. It was better than eighty. <laughs> All right. He's, oh, okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, great. Now he's now he's diseased with lethargy, and he's not. Uh, Rich, come on. Hold your weight. All right. We can't stun these, they got 100% stun resist. Uh, that's better damage than before. I had level 6s that couldn't even do a quarter of damage on maggots. Wow. Grave nibble. Such graveness. Paper! Give him a paper cut. Look at those bones that came from that maggot. Such big bones. Really, Rich? Uh, Alright. We're gonna have to try to stress heal him as much as we can. Start the banner. Raise your banner, James. Sound the battlements. Critical heal, good. That does some stress heal. Good job, good job. Finally, the magnet misses. Stop going after Richard! Okay, everybody guard Richard. <laughs> Come on, Richard. It's just targeting him. It knows. Alright, let's try this target whistle out. I like the whistle. He has got a debuff. Minus Let's 50 see. from Hound's Rush. Okay, so it stacks up with his Hound Rush uh, attack. Yeah. I can see how that'd be useful. Minus 5 dodge, too. That's good. Gotta nibble him. Alright, he's still at 24, 16. Hound Rush is there. Let's see how much damage you do with the debuff. Not much. But Three! But you are level one. Well, level zero. He's not even level That's one. Level zero? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Alright, that just seems. Is that good for level zero? These nightmares yeah, okay. creatures can be felled. They can be. Is it pretty much standard? It's bog standard, yeah. Nice. I don't know if that actually is nice. Yeah, this is okay. As okay as you can be in Darkest Dungeon. But then the again, we're going up against a completely unknown boss. So, yeah. Alright, who's got the best trap? Uh, Not Richard. Let's see. 30. 30. 30. Okay, it actually is Richard. What? What's he at? 40. Oh, wow, okay. So he's 10% better than the other three. Uh... I'll give you any venom. Bring to life. That With stress is mounting on him, though. And we got a room battle coming up. Room battle. Fuck those zombies. Quickly, stun them. Is that technically the flood? Basically. I hate that flood. Alright, we need to get the artillery down. Send your hound forward. Yes. Good. Stress heal. 
Nice, nice kill, Richard. Nice kill. He's doing okay. You and Blue are an excellent team. I wonder what would happen if you have a whole team of Houndmasters. Think of the synergy with the dogs. Oh, wow. I've done it before with Crusaders. It's like a complete tank. You can't out... You can't stress them at all. That is awesome. A singular nice crick. Crushed by justice. But basically, He's but the thing about uh, Crusaders is like young. You had a few that was dedicated to with his healing banner or the stress banner, and yeah. it's just like you couldn't break them. Put those guys in back. Have the tanks in front. Yep. And the uh, two in front have holy lances, so they keep alternating back and forth between one and two. <laughs> That's right, perfect. Let's get the artillery at the back. Definitely liking the whistle. You can oh. play a tune on that whistle yep. if you wanted to. Alright, let's go for a group heal. There we go. That, one take, that one's taking his time marking, but if we can kill this one, it doesn't matter. Combat challenge. Eight damage, not bad. That's actually pretty good. Plus a debuff from that. Plus, minus ten protection. That is actually really valuable, then. Way to go. Critical paper. So that paper could have got infected, then. Yeah. Alright, let's protect. We're gonna take the time to try to de-stress uh, Richard here. Come on, Richard, calm down, focus. He's constantly marking prey. We'll keep the corpses up front so he can't constantly blight us. Sounds good. Uh, I guess we'll use this to increase torchlight level. Get us mm. done with that too. Not bad. Now, if only you had his self de-stress. One. Yes, you hit that pile of meat and bones, Richard. Okay. There's actually um, the ancestor trinket, not the ancestor, but the very rare trinket we get as a reward for this mission uh, is a trinket that if the man at arms is constantly in rank four, he gets like all these protections. So basically, he's like success. Uh, <laughs> a c commander kind of role. So basically, we he's don't have just room for the shovel. Yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of the deeds. We don't need deeds. Okay. Okay. Let's see. But basically, he becomes like just a buff tank. Just buff yeah. everybody from the back row. Buff tank. Shields. Eh. I need busts more. Okay, so we got a shrine room and a big battle room. Huh. I'll go shrine room. Sounds good. We still need to get Richard's stress un unhandled here. Unfortunately, we're pretty full on stuff. I may get rid of this shovel. We'll see. An old tree. If only Health treasure stone. could staunch the it? flow of otherworldly corruption. Ten percent stress resist. Minus ten stress resist. Oh. I don't know if I have this one. Tree. I'll take it over to shovel. Shovel. All right, let's go. Oh. If anything, just edit. Okay, to the I'm not gonna bother with Rich trying to disarm things. Who's got the best blight resist? I like Richard saying, let's find some things to kill. Yep, 50, 50, 40. Alright, so anybody is better in terms of blight resistance, but worse at trap disarming. So we'll give it to James. Ancient traps lie in wait, unsprung and thirsty. Wait, my mouse blood. is acting up today. You calibrate that shit. Garrus, get in here. Garrus! Alright, a bunch of spiders. Richard be, hates spiders. That should be standard. Okay, let's start bashing. Just beat him in the face. Oh, no, they're shooting webs. Oh god, he's probably freaking out right now. 
such a that terrible critical. assault cannot be left unanswered. Bit and venom. Okay. Let's try out this on off. Kill the fire! Ah. You, you missed all of them? How'd you miss all of them? Bob Blue. You had one job. Richard, train your dog. Paper. Paper for the win. Papers, please. Uh, keep healing. Keep healing, Tara. Keep. Don't Heels stop the win. Healing. <laughs> Come on, spin to win. Uh, stress is starting to mount up on everybody. Okay. Of course, I'm not there. Executed Take out with the impunity. Lights. His heart will burst. Our fists between our hearts. Come on. Do it, Richard. Oh man, he is missing everything. All right, James can take the hit for a while. Combat challenge. Yay! Critical stress. All right. We're all bladed. Wept. But he was sick. But he is marked. Yeah. Let's try to get at him. Finally, you landed something. Finally, a hit! Good. I was getting uh, worried there for a second. Question is heal or attack? I'll heal. Critical heal. Yes. Nice. You were critically healed. How do you feel about that? Mm. Honestly, I don't want to. This one is weaker than the other one. He's got web. You can actually see the, uh, I pointed at my screen for a moment. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yes, we all saw that. Uh, but you can see the enemy's attacks now in the bottom right corner. Oh, like their lineup? Yeah. Like, no, look, see, you can, I pointed at the screen again. At, Point see down there. Mouse. I can't because as soon as I pull off, it's in the bottom right corner under his skills and resistances. Okay. <laughs> see there? You see? I'm follow the follow the sound of my voice, everyone. <laughs> All right. I tried, but it led me into the computer screen. <laughs> I don't I don't know what you want me to do about that. All right. Let's see what we can do. Maybe we can get a critical hit on a bone bone pile. Not a crit, but. Alright, so we also know he has bite. So focus the heals there. Critical heal. 20, 20, 16. 32, hut, hut, hike. <laughs> we're not, oh wait, we're we'll not try to bring everybody down to at least one stress marker. Nope. Not a critical. There we go. All right. That group heal. Terra's getting all, all right, them. Terra's getting all like, them. I like how he like, pushes this dog out of the way and like takes the hit for the dog. That's awesome. Hey, gotta protect the dog. Gotta protect the dog. Like in most zombie apocalyptic, it's like, would you prefer to save the dog or would you save a human? Save the dog. Humans are assholes. Exactly. We encountered those guys er earlier. Remember? Yeah. Rem I mean, Damn randoms. remember uh, I Am Legend? Yep. Okay, Remind we already have that trinket. That overconfidence so is a slow that. and insidious killer. So we'll drop all that. Now, this is not technically a shrine, but we can learn experience from it. So let's see what gameplay can get. Nothing of value. Okay. Maybe uh, Blue will find something of value in there. Hopefully. Okay, no scouting chance. Actually, let's switch up his skills. Um, instead of target whistle, let's try. Well, lick wounds is always nice, but let's try to cry havoc. Oh, and it's a stress heal. Okay, so I'm trying to think how how we can map this out. I want to go back and get that. Hopefully, uh, get us go 
Left, up, right, down, right, up, left, up. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. We got plenty of torches and food for this. And up, we only up, have one down, lot. down, left, right, left, right. Is that the invincibility cheat for Darkest Dungeon? We haven't figured that out by now. <laughs> the community would go, oh yeah, I forgot about the dog biscuit. We should use that before the um, for boss the, battle. For the boss battle, yeah. 